When practicing landings with your instructor, you hear a lot about aiming points on final to the runway. What exactly does it mean to aim your approach at a certain point, and how does it help you land better? We're on approach to a standard runway at Easton Airport. Let's have a look at some of the different runway markings. The beginning here is the threshold. Landings can be made anywhere from the threshold on down. You typically don't want to try to land on the threshold because the risk of landing short in the grass is too high, so you aim further down the runway. Long runways like this have aiming points, which are these two wide white stripes. These are a thousand feet down the runway from the threshold, so are called the thousand foot markers. Aiming at a point on the runway isn't a matter of simply pointing your nose at it. We want to control our rate of descent using power and pitch to get a stable angle and airspeed. The trajectory should take us towards our aiming point. If you draw an imaginary point on the windscreen, it should stay on your aiming point. Points on the runway before that point should appear to be moving down in your point of view, while points further up should look like they're moving up, while the aiming point stays stationary. This is a matter of sight and feel as well. I often say that it should feel as if we're going to scrape our butts on the aiming point if we keep this trajectory all the way down. Of course, we're not going to scrape our butts here. When we get close, our power goes idle and we begin to bring in back pressure on the controls to bleed off airspeed. We'll float down the runway a bit and land beyond our aiming point. In this case, we land here. How far your touchdown point is from your aiming point depends on the aircraft, as well as how much speed you bring into the approach. For the Cessna 172, it's typically about 150 to 200 feet, so like one and a half lengths of the runway centerline stripes. The fact that the aiming point and touchdown points are different is an important and often misunderstood concept by student pilots. It's especially important in short field landings. At Easton, we landed on a long runway and so could aim a thousand feet down from the threshold. Here we have a runway less than 2,000 feet long, so we don't have that luxury. We want to touch down on the runway numbers, close to the threshold, but should we aim there? No, we should aim about 150 to 200 feet before that point somewhere on the displaced threshold. It should feel like our butts will scrape the displaced threshold, which of course we don't want. We can't land on the displaced threshold, but when we round out and flare, our energy will carry us down and we touch down on the numbers as planned. Having an aiming point is an important step in setting up a stable approach. It's as much of a sight picture as it is a feeling you'll develop, and it's not going to be the same as your actual touchdown point. For more great online flight training, check out Flight Insight Ground Schools today at the link here or in the description.